What's up guys, Isaiah here from Goo Gaming and I have Logan and PJ here with me. You guys asked for a Sword Soul deck without the Despot or Wardon combo, so that's what we got here for you today. PJ and Logan worked on this deck a little bit and they're gonna jump in and explain why they think this is going to be the best version of Sword Soul that's not playing Despot or Wardon. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Starting with Sword Soul cards, we got three Moyi. I think Moji standard. Same thing with two Taiye, three Long Young, three, three Klaja. Yeah. yeah. Three Immersion, Santa Blackout. I think this is super standard. Yeah, it's just. I don't think it really needs standard. much explanation. So, the next part of the deck is the Tinyi deck, or the Tinyi portion. If we go down to Ashina here. Um, so, three Ashina, two uh, Adhara, and then three Vashuda. Uh, we just thought the level sevens were a little bit better. They're better going second cards. And overall, we just thought they were a little bit better than uh, playing the level one. So we're not playing uh, Needle in this version. And then this is the big portion of the deck, is all the going second cards you get to play because of, you know, not playing the Needle stuff. You have the three Droplet, the three Imperm, the three Gamma, the three Lancia, and then the Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is a little iffy about a going second card, but it's good against Psy, so it's really not put it in this section. Um, if you notice, nine of our 12 going second cards are actually just super strong against PK. And right. we just don't like we just don't want to get scythe. Also playing against the Despot version, Lancia is really strong and Gamma is really strong as well, including Imperm. Um, anything you want to add on this, PJ? Like we're really just trying to stop scythe. Like that's all we really have a problem with. Plus like the mirror match, but like as soon as scythe deck, we kind of take care of that. It's not even just right. for PK either, because like even the virtual deck and everything else is also playing scythe. So. It's not Plus just the like, stuff as well. Yeah, and it's also just like, you build your deck to play around Scythe, but it's not because you're scared of PK, it's because of Scythe, and Scythe is played in almost every deck right now. Or right, all the big decks right now. And if right. you notice, if we, if we interrupt the PK deck, the only thing we have to play through is Fog Blades, which the Tinnies are really strong at actually playing through Fog Blade because of its shoot yes. and they can't really Fog Blade anything really. As well as this next card, which is Circle. Very um, important. Circle's very good against playing Imperm, Valor, uh, Fog Blade, uh, because you can just do essentially dodge the Fog Blade and just continue playing right. by summoning the Shatana from your deck. Or, well, adding it and then summoning it. And the last card in the deck is part of Desires. We just felt like we are playing 40 without it. Might as well, Might as well play, play it. it in the deck. Like, if you draw it, it's a plus. Like, you just draw two. If you don't draw it, not that big of a deal. The only thing that you might see that's, like, different in this list, we don't play Vessel. I think in pure, I think um, Circle's just better than Vessel overall right now. If you're wanting to do this, like, super heavy going second, you know, a bunch of going second cards and then a bunch of one-card starters. Uh, we just don't play two sure Blackout. Go through at the end of the day. Right, yeah, absolutely. And the reason we don't play two Blackout is because there's only one Desires now. You really don't want to draw Blackout going second or going first. You want to search it. Exactly. So we just want to play the one. Never want to see the card. Is there a reason, or do you guys want to explain your reason behind not playing Ash and playing like these over Ash? These um, are higher impact, and they stop. Yeah, they're just they're just higher impact. Um, the only one I would eat, consider switching out for Ash is Imperm, but Imperm's yep. nice because you can draw as your sixth card. It's really good. It you can draw Gamma there. as your sixth card. You can yes, draw Droplet as your sixth card, and you can draw Droplet as your sixth card, which is really strong. As well as Call by the Grave and all stop Scythe if they don't have, you know, certain things to stop those cards. So. Yeah, I was going to say, this card is just an auto main deck, I think, and I think these other cards, uh, like you said, drawing them as your sixth, is your sixth card still does what it needs to do, and drawing Ash as your sixth card does nothing. Exactly. Right. I do like Ash's format, but I think I like Imperm specifically in this deck a little bit more. Yep. I could agree with that. You got to play two Chijiao. This is yep. just standard. Same yeah, thing with level to. 10. All this is just standardized at this point for the most part. Three Monk, the Shaman. Rudy Rose is a little different. Some people were yeah, cutting it last format. It. But PK is just too popular, man. This card just slaughters PK. And, and you can break their board, does. slam a Rudy Rose, it's game over. It's a fact. Baron, the two, Baxia, Chow Fang, all these cards are standard. Yazi, Draco Berserker. Card chaos. This card's insane. Yeah. So against PK, it is very, very difficult to out this card very difficult they pretty much have to hard open um like droplet or fusion destiny to out it like reliably without going through a bunch of cards but this stops the brave engine this card stops um just them like it stops one of their extenders as well or it can stop their cheer beanie whichever one you want to stop 
It's just a stops great card against that deck. Too. Yeah, it stops their fog blades. If they activate it, you just banish the fog blade. Doesn't resolve. Plus, and with long young, it burns damage. for thirty. Yeah, yeah. burns for thirty six hundred if you use both effects. So just the fact that your opponent's only at forty four, and if you look at this deck, like this deck, like damage. is just all big monsters. Like the entire extra deck is like twenty three hundred or higher on every single card. Super easy to kill your opponent in this deck, especially them being at forty four. I think you. Like definitely need to play the new card coming out by like chaos for sure. The only thing you could cut is, uh, is the rose card as you said. Sam gets PK some auto win. So like, why wouldn't you play it? Your PK is going to be one of the most represented decks in the format. All right, going on to the side deck. We have my most hated card, but we'll see what you can say about it. You just need it for the death block combos, I think. Like, I mean, it's not. It's okay against PK. Like you would obviously probably side it in, but. It's mainly for the death spot combos, um, because, like, they can play through one to two hand traps a lot of the time, but, so you just need more high impact hand traps. Stops the break cards, like, a lot of the time your boards aren't, like, this unbreakable board, right? Like, you're setting up, like, one to two interruptions, so, like, having a card like Anti-Spell to make a couple cards in their hand dead that they would use to break your store board, like Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, whatever, just kind of helps just, uh, like, stun out your opponent and just get the yeah. W going first. Let's have some grind game, too. Right, For sure. Because they're never, they're never gonna get to activate their cards because you're always just gonna like backseat them back to their deck or whatever, right? Yeah. Yep. This Obviously, is a back row hate. your back row hate. I feel like yep, these are all just self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, red reboot. This deck is really easy to kill you with. So if you get red reboot off against Eldritch or other trap decks, you're probably gonna win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dark ruler. Uh, it's for the mirror. Like yep. any the, the death spot versions. Mirror or anything like that they usually just end with like just a huge board you hit them with dark ruler no more you could probably break their board really easily just the main reason to and play the card back, hopefully, man. and going with the last card we got we got rivalry which i do not see a lot of people playing yeah this card's a little different so when we were building this deck we realized that like obviously like we were talking about this deck puts a lot of hand traps but like it's it's going first board isn't like it's like two to three interruptions, right? Yeah. So, if you notice, we have five cards in the in the side deck for going first. And Rivalry is pretty good against, like, any deck that plays Brave, right? Like, if they summon the token, you can just activate Rivalry, and they can't really do much most of the time. Yeah, because token um, is fairy, so I... Right. Um, if you play against... Even against PK, like, even if they don't do that, it's... Like, if you have interruptions plus Rivalry, like, if you have the, the new level 10 really plus Chi Zhao, it's very hard to out because, like... It's hard, like they go break sword, sure, but you can negate break sword, and like they, they don't the have a lot of cards. The only other thing they could really do is just fusion, fusion death from hand, it. and then yeah, you shoot down negate the makes them sure. Yeah, also so, against prank kids too. Good against prank kids is also good against invoke decks. Any yes. invoke decks or any dogmatica decks, this, this card's very good against. So this card just hits a a couple of different decks in the meta. Tell what you're going first, just, it just makes it a little bit stronger. Plus, it's also like a surprise factor too, because hardly anyone's gonna see this uh, going up a sword soul. Yeah, and they're not gonna bring it back or hate against your sword soul deck most of the exactly. time. Exactly. I think the deck's strong. Um, I think Gamma's one of the best hand traps right now. Uh, I think it's really good. Especially with people main decking Lancey, because most people do it during their standby phase. You could yeah. just Gamma that, and then yeah. Um, I think the deck's pretty strong. Definitely, it's like it's like the new tri brigade, I think. Right. Like this yeah. version of the deck. Yeah, I definitely see that. The old faithful swords old deck. <laughs> the old faithful. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's our take on what we think pure sword soul is going to be. If you decide you don't want to jump on the synchro train and play a on and everything, uh, this is what we think is going to be the best route. Playing a bunch of going second cards and you have a bunch of one star combos, so you just do your combos and break their board in second if you end up going second. I hope you guys appreciate the demo file. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out our most recent video here and our most recent vlog here. We appreciate your feedback. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.